welcome to today's tip. I thought I would just go through a few different ways that you can use your stamps on your cards. Now, I've just got one here that came through with a magazine. It was free with the magazine, and sometimes they're not the best quality, so you have to really look after them. But they do make fabulous stamps and also little sentiments to go with it. So they're perfect for card making. That's what they're designed for. But I just thought I would show you a few different ways of using them. Now, I've got the Otter stamp here. Yeah. And one of the things that I would say about using stamps is that rather than just stamping directly onto the backdrop of your card, which you can do maybe if you repeat a few times, which is a technique I'll show you in a minute, um, I think the best way to get out of your stamps is to mount them and mount them on different colors that then bring them out. So for example, I've just got some pieces of paper here. We're just gonna play around. The other thing that you can play around with is different colors so I'm going to use this sepia archival one here and all the time you are thinking about what colors am I going to mount this on now I'm going to set this on a bit of white to start with Now I know that teal works fantastically with sepia. So if I cut that one down and added that in, automatically I've got a really fabulous looking card. Now they come with, there's a lovely one, there's no otter like you. Okay, so we've now got that one. And so again, I would put this on a border. I wouldn't just stamp it directly onto the otter. and I'm gonna stick it to my card. Now, one thing I would say with this is your dimension or foam um, pop-up dots work an absolute treat. The other thing is to make it look separate from your background is to ink up your edges. So I am just going to go around and ink up my edges. Add my dimension dots onto it. I'm just gonna put two either side, doesn't need much more than that. And then stick that on. So look how instant and brilliant that is. So that was just me using the two stamps, getting the contrasting colors really, really well, and then automatically I've got a beautiful card. Now another thing that you can do is rather than having your stamps maybe at the forefront, they can be the background to your card. And this time I'm going to make the otter the background. Now I don't really want it to be that sharp. So I do think I'm going to get rid of my first sort of stamp over there. So it sort of looks like wrapping paper would. We've got this really lovely background. So what we can do is we can go over the top, maybe again with a bit more of a contrasting color. Might use my teal again, because that's looking really lovely. Make it a bit smaller. We still want to see the otters in there. And then we can just put our sentiment, which is here, right in the middle on a piece of white paper. So there we have another one. Now I might trim down the edges here and spend a bit more time working out which otter I want showing through behind and make it might make it just that little bit smaller. So thanks for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time.